Welcome guys to this graphic novel vlog. This is going to be the first one. Um, let me just explain what this is. So, I've decided that I'm going to do a series where I help hold myself accountable through YouTube of doing graphic novel vlogs um, of me drawing and creating my graphic novel. The audio in this one I think I'm going to go through some artists that have inspired me. I looked into Jim Lee because a lot of his work was basically what I was drawing. Um, and then I found out like all the stuff that he did for DC and all these other things. Like a lot of his YouTube videos where he literally, like, he, I guess he's not really known for like using a tablet to draw but I mean the other day I was watching a video of his where he literally tries to draw I think Captain America or Superman on um, a tablet and it's kind of ironic because his skills on a tablet are nowhere near as good as his penciling and inking skills don't get me wrong he's still good um, but it's just funny because you think that someone like that is going to be already a finished product on that but there's obviously things that he he finds as his strengths and yeah he he's a he's a massive inspiration to me i started getting into dave mckean's work um i had a tutor the tutor teacher whatever you want to call them um that i was literally doing like pencil drawings and using maybe biros or fine liners with them and this teacher um, said have you seen this before and showed me the Arkham Asylum graphic novel that Dave McKean did and it completely like blew me away how crazy and um, it was like literally you took the illustrative idea of um, a comic book hero like Jim Lee and then merged it with like the creative style um, coloring of a Francis Bacon painting. And I, I was literally, that, that was it. I was like, that's the sort of stuff that I wanna make, you know? And I would like do like printouts of like um, animals and then like um, layer them on Facebook, on, not Facebook, what I'm talking about, and Photoshop with uh, drawings sketches that I did of it and stuff like that and again that's not another evolution of like uh, work evolving and what you're interested in and then it kind of merged the simplicity of drawing um, comic book characters and then but it created more of a creative like it took the limits away from it and then at that time I was trying to find more artists like comic book artists that weren't so much uh, weren't, wasn't literally that the colouring like the shadows and that sort of thing were block colours I was looking at artists like Alex Rocks that um, he, he did a lot of covers for Marvel and for DC and his uh, covers I think he, like he, there is obviously comic books where he's done like the whole of the comic book but it's very time consuming because his art his art style is literally um, he creates paintings and he uses watercolors um, to color him in and again it was is something different um, so these are just a few of the people that over the years I kind of changed the way that I look at comic book art and graphic novels and and I guess it's kind of that they've inspired me to work on my own style sort of thing so I just thought it would be interesting to maybe talk about it over the top of this vlog but again um, I'm gonna keep on putting these out uh, just to keep myself consistent with working on my own idea and I guess you kind of see as um, the more I put these out like how my style is and how it kind of develops so I will catch you guys in the next vlog.